Hello Scorpio, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do the reading for the rest of the month, May 17th through the 31st for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to ask you the universe, what do you guys need to know? What is important? What situation, events, energies? What does Scorpio need to know from May 17th through the 31st? After the lunar eclipse that we had in Scorpio, what do you guys need to know? of pentacles with a hierophant chariot the four of pentacles the seven of pentacles what's going on here the ten of pentacles it's all about the money it's all about the wealth it's all about the fortune we have love okay that that represents you all right let's see let's see wow but i i was gonna say here this is going well but i'm like no let me wait till the end so i don't jinx it scorpio for some of you right away, I will say that there is here a lot of abundance and wealth and establishment that is coming your way. And um, again, this is coming especially for the ones that have uh, worked very hard. Um, it's not something that out of the blue, it's not sudden here. Wow. So look at the situation. You're dealing with the Knight of Pentacles. That's your situation. You have a plan. You see here exactly the, the the roadway the pathway of what is going to be here that is brought to you money wise also love wise because we have the two knights here both of them are good here we have you representing romance and that's how you see yourself you see yourself emotionally you see yourself romantic going towards this but you know the situation that you have to deal is consistency you know that there's um uh, methods here that you have to apply to what you want to achieve because that is a journey that you're taking this is triumph this is victory the hierophant here is your belief for some of you it can be that there's a contract here that is being signed or there are certain things you know regarding vows family establishment and commitment we will see when we clarify but these two together go very well because again he's saying what can help or hinder you is what ethically especially here as well but what it is here that you believe truly what you are devoted to what it is here when it comes to uh, even you know when it comes to guidance with with a higher fan because remember the actions here that bring stability security uh, consistency money wealth whatever it is here the 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 project or as i mentioned the pathway that you're taking that you feel like i'm going this is my direction i'm going to win here but i have to know that everything that i do every step of the way here is what's going to bring me what you know a work i put or what my beliefs are in all those areas as i mentioned um it can be uh, about marriage it can be about establishment it can be about legacies here you know the roadway and you know that here that you have to kind of step by step go towards it methodically this is because recently i feel like you have um you had to hold on to whatever it is that you possessed it's like i feel like in the recent past you did not open up you just accumulated you just preserved you just were like okay this is what i have achieved this is what i'm holding i have my security since i have my security it's like i feel like someone here that achieved that security the safety net and now it's like what what's next what i'm going to achieve, achieve next what i'm going to invest that's what you're thinking the best possible situation in your mind is like okay you're still kind of playing it very safe though again when it comes to your heart with the chariot is like i know here what i need to go and i'm going forward it can be a, re a relocation for some of you it can be that finally you know <clears throat> you have this opportunity to take action with the seven of pentacles you're investing you're looking at what is what rewards are you going to kind of you know get back what it is worth it for you to put your time and effort what values are going to get out of and he's saying actually what's coming towards you 
is or this is something again that finally you know it's, it's saying that you achieve this you, there's the the establishment there's the your business there's the commitment here again it's coming with a 10 so there's this completion this may be an energy here that you fi finally it's coming to you that yeah I actually I can achieve this it may be a, a wealth or a, a business we will see when we clarify but I really like it because you're looking at this pathway you know not very quick and then suddenly we're jumping from seven to ten here it's like okay this is what you have this is what is being present presented towards you and you feel like i'm ready here now I'll also i can you know open up and you know emotionally here um take action towards this situation that's how you're feeling of course you might, might look at yourself that hey romance is as important to me as this stability and this security and you do have help what surrounds you is the sun hidden here <clears throat> or from a person or situation in your environment you need to know that you have help <clears throat> sorry guys there's happiness there's enlightenment there's again because you're dealing here in such a way that you're not rushing or you know exactly what you want and you want to be consistent is saying you have help here there's a leo energy for some of you it doesn't have to be <clears throat> but you are surrounded by happiness uh enlightenment creativity the page of swords is in your hopes and fears now for some of you the page of swords you may be afraid that maybe certain information are not you know kind of what exactly you're waiting for it may be the beginning contract uh, news it may be that you're hoping here that you're going to receive some news but some of you may be also uh, afraid of delayed or what you need to to wait for we will see but that still is not bad the page of swords is like some type of truth or news or research here in order for you to kind of start what you need you guys are going to come here with a wish fulfillment you are going to be so satisfied so happy maybe because of the money here that is coming in maybe because your heart knows exactly where it's going in your environment here but let's see let's clarify i don't even know if i want to clarify to tell you the truth it's too too good That nine of cups is like uh, whatever it is here that you think the best possible to invest is like yeah you're getting your wish let's see the knight of pentacles one more wow this is really beautiful accomplishment for some of you as i mentioned you might be traveling you might be relocating with the world and the chariot but this is the pathway here to your biggest achievement you're going for it you have big plans and you feel like this is where i need to achieve this is my graduation card this is the highest peak this represents saturn uh, hard work but also the fixed signs scorpio leo taurus aquarius and we know that fixed signs are all about stability security to provide here to hold on to what is important and accomplish that till the end and to me it's like that is that methodical approach towards this success some of you again a journey here that you feel like is going to bring you wealth and opportunities definitely graduation with this too um uh, let's see what is the hierophant one more okay this is that's why i said it's very important that ethical situation your belief something here that hey there's no shortcuts there's no playing sneaky here or like you know feeling um uh, avoiding the truth the hierophant will never avoid the truth so you have to deal with certain situation here there's no escape there's no shortcut there's no you know it can be that there's a strategic move but between these two to me it's like whatever this journey here that you're taking it has to be something that has devotion that has truth that is also here very much linked to spirituality as well but the seven of swords is like this is what can help or hinder just playing something here you know in a way that oh is this unconventional is this un untraditional 
these two cards tells me that no you want the traditional way you want here the way that again it brings you the success you want without feeling like you have to to do certain things here that don't make you feel proud but it is a situation about contract vows or in this situation what has been avoided long time ago cannot be avoided anymore you, you can see that the hierophant is staring at the seven of swords certain truth here cannot be avoided anymore what is the chariot one more the queen of pentacles with the fool another pentacle right this is again going towards that pathway that brings security money and stability what is this queen of pentacles let's see it's like there's someone that is very secure that i'm holding on here to my you know values or what is important towards me some of you may be going towards this queen of pentacles of course one more wow new passion the king of swords is here in the nine of pentacles to me is someone that is very clear that this is where i want to go and it's a new start it's a new beginning for some of you as i mentioned it may be regarding business but you're starting something new or towards this person that you feel is going to bring you the passion and the the direction here of someone that is stable the Queen of Pentacles is surrounded by wealth, money, stability. Money, money or stability or things here that are very tangible. Remember, we're um, in Taurus season, your opposite sign. So it's, uh, it's normal to have such strong Taurus, especially after, you know, the lunar eclipse, which was, you know, the sun was in Taurus, the moon was in Scorpio. So I feel like it does represent your stability and what is next year. What are the changes that you have to take, new beginnings? What happened with the Four of Pentacles, please? One more. The King of Swords. This King of Swords really wanted to come here before. To me, someone in the past has been very logical or holding back here. I'm going to hold on, as I mentioned, to what I have. Very detached, very objective, not opening up. What is the Four of Pentacles with the King of Swords? One more. Wow. Wow. Okay. Is the sun here external? So someone has been holding back, not opening up. But again, there was happiness. There was joy. It's just something here could not be shared. Because I want to see how the sun is going to come here. To me, it's like now it's like someone is ready to open up. This king of swords is coming as someone that had a lot of happiness or joy, but and held on tightly to the joy. Why are you thinking the best situation is the seven of pentacles for you? Okay, I'm going to look at this. Yeah, when it comes to... As I mentioned, this is we don't have a lot of uh, fire here except this. There's something here that you want to invest and you're curious and you want to go forward, but you feel like you have to take your time and figure that out. What is the Seven of Pentacles here? One more. Yes, when it comes to communication, when it comes to decision, you feel like you have to wait or kind of, you know, as I mentioned, choose wisely. Is it worth it? Maybe some of you feel like you still have to wait for a communication. This is just your thoughts of what you're going to think possible. It's completely different. It's better. All right, so let's see. What does the Ten of Pentacles represent here? What is this Ten of Pentacles about? One more. Wow, the Five of Swords. Hmm. It's wealth that is coming here or with conflict or I cannot get defeated. I don't know if it is because um, you have the seven of swords. Let's see. I got to do what I got to do to get my, my establishment. One more. Okay, guys, I have to tell you, man, I have to tell you. Uh, 
this wealth or is something here that you kind of have been very adamant no matter what to achieve or when it comes to this treasure when it comes to this establishment that not only that i'm getting here there's some litigation or there's some jealousy because again these two can be very jealous but there may be something here that the conflict is like what do i agree to i feel like the five of swords is not sure remember the hierophant i will mention it again is your and since you have the nine of cups you're dealing well with it you're not going to let yourself here get captured there is some type of wealth that is coming here some type of establishment but it's coming with something that feels or forbidden or an attachment to it. It's like, what is this commitment or what is this wealth? What is this, even materialistically, because the, the devil can be very materialistic in that sense as well. But I'm getting, because the five of swords is like, careful what I want or careful what I wish for. What is coming here and what do I need to do here when it comes to this treasure? It's like, I feel like, is this too good to be true? Do I tie myself to something I don't want to, especially if it's about commitment? I really want to see what's going on here. Let's see. What is the devil? One more. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You have to let go of something here that has been painful. I, I get that, you know, it's something, which way do I go? It is, the devil is coming as indulgent. It's coming as be careful what you want. Wow. I want to see, let's see. It's coming as a wish fulfillment, but that is, it, it's conflicted. What is the Knight of Cups? You see yourself that, hey, it's to, to you, it's about love. It's about actions towards love. One more. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Of course, you are afraid here that what you have to, to let, will, will you be left out financially here in crisis? Um, it's between your, your heart here and when it comes to your security, your money. If it is something here that you tempted to, for some of your career versus love. It can be very much with that because to me, look at this, someone is kind of staying there in this different perspective, different angle, even, you know, self-sacrificing. So what do you have to sacrifice for love? What is at stake here? What can be this fear of being financially poor? That's what your attitude is. You want to go towards this love, but it's coming with, um, a lingering awaiting here of what will happen financially to you. Ah, oh, it's getting complicating. That's your attitude. That's why you maybe you feel like the best situation is to wait, to wait. When it comes too fast, too quick, you might feel like something is to worry here about. Why the sun? You do have, let's see it right now. I want to see why the sun is, is there because it's turning around completely. One more. Oh my goodness, the temperance, the patience. Okay, you are going to find happiness. And again, be aware of your uh, surroundings. Be aware of people that surround you or what you need to open up to because he's saying this is what you are thinking, waiting. And he's saying, yes, you are going to find happiness. And it is regarding someone from the past or a situation from the past that you kind of held tightly to possessively or again felt more safe he's saying well whoever this person or situation is coming here with happiness and something that you have been waiting for is bringing you happiness what is the page of swords in your hopes and fears one more yeah that's why i said like you're not sure here if you are going to be able to get the information you need or there's going to be still more isolation searching seeking what is the page of swords and the hermit remember you want movement yeah you you're waiting for someone here to know exactly what to say but you're afraid that there's especially this divine masculine is not going to be able to take charge over over this situation 
you are curious about someone and you are waiting for this again there's a lot of who has the power here who feels like has the power to act because remember as I, I said you know here that whatever you have to choose it's towards you know this journey that brings you accomplishment but at the same time you feel like should I trust or should I wait for this person do I have the power here to take charge over this situation let's see this nine of cups I don't know <laughs> because to me it's like someone that is celebrating but hey I got what I want one more wow okay love here there is a union a wish fulfillment regarding that's why you're torn between two situations this is beautiful let's get another card or should i not i don't know one more wow okay the king of what some of you may be dealing with a leo sagittarius you don't have to wear aries guys you are going to be this is um i've said it before the temperance to me is twin flame or integration or two people here that finally come together um this is a union this is a wish fulfillment of you and someone else finally coming together integrating soul to soul here whatever it is that you feel i don't know if there's some vows or commitment issues here uh, but he's saying you're going to find yourself the best possible outcome is to listen to your heart, Scorpio. Whatever this changes, whatever you feel like you have to face that. Um, to me, again, be careful not to let yourself just completely go into this world just about money. I feel like money is coming towards you and you are going to, to be surrounded by wealth and establishment. But he's saying here, listen to your heart. There is an integration between you and someone else. And for some of you, it does not even have to be a, a love. It can be a business partnership. But it is two people that are coming together. They're wishing for each other and integrating soul to soul. It's a very, very interesting reading for whoever is meant to. And again, it's something you have expected and you've played it safe for a long time. This is communication arriving here. Wish fulfillment of whoever you have been longing for or wanting to come together with. I really hope this resonates with you guys. In the extended, we will um, see the person on your mind. Thank you. Bye-bye.